Welcome to all of you in today's session. Today we will be talking about additive manufacturing or which is also called 3D printing or rapid prototyping. 3D printing is an advanced manufacturing technology which is day by day getting popular in almost all the sectors. There is a basic difference between 3D printing or the additive manufacturing with the conventional manufacturing like machining, fabrication, uh, forging, castings. In conventional manufacturing process, what we do like for machining, say we need to do machining for a job. So always the weight of raw material is much higher than the weight of the finished product. And we during the process, we create a lot of chips or the waste, we rather we waste the material actually raw material and as well as lot of resources to remove the material. Similarly for fabrication as a uh, like raw material, we get the steel plates, uh, steel sections. We cut those the desired shape to get the final product and there are a lot of scrap we generate. Not only we scrap the raw material, we are also you know uh, using lot of re other resources which is basically non-valuated with respect to additive manufacturing concept. In additive manufacturing what happens? It starts from the zero of the zero material then layer by layer it deposit the material which I will be discussing throughout this session. Additive manufacturing already uh, if we talk about which are the areas where additive manufacturing is already implemented or getting popular. Number one is engineering, the design and R&D, consumer product and manufacturing sector in general, education, aerospace, medical, architecture, fashion, jewelry, military, electronics and automotive. Uh, to cover this uh, subject, additive manufacturing in a single session, it is a bit difficult, it will be get longer. So, I will uh, make this uh, discussion into two sessions, one is part 1 and the part 2 I will discuss on some other day. In part 1, I will discuss what are the steps involved in additive manufacturing and in part 2, I will be discussing what are the problems we face during additive manufacturing and how those are encountered. Okay. Now to start uh, the process of additive manufacturing, there are eight distinguished steps. Number one is 3D CAD model. The component for which you are going to make the additive manufacturing process, you have to have a 3D model of the component. Then this CAD model needs to be converted into another language called STL and then STL model fed it into the additive manufacturing machine with a different uh, language conversion actually then set up the machine like different parameter of the machine job holding uh, or the fixture or any additional support etc needed in that is the setup part of the machine. Fifth is the building the machine like when everything is uh, finished then machine will do automatically the building of the component then removal or cleanup because uh, you know, after making the component of the machine this needs to be removed from the machine then a lot of cleaning and all these things are there then post processing uh, is there also then the application of the final products okay in 3d uh, modeling you can get into mainly different way one is you can draw the 3D model by using conventional 3D modeling uh, software like uh, you know Proe, Katia, Unigraphics, etc. Or nowadays in almost all portable CMM machine, coordinate measuring machine which is available that has got a feature for making 3D scanning. It means say you have a component, you need to make a 3D model of the component. Earlier days, why uh, what we used to do? We took the measurement of the component and try to make the 3D model. And nowadays, with this 3D uh, scanning machine, whether with CMM integrated or individual, if we touch the probe of the machine in different part, geometric feature of the component, it will automatically create a 3D model of the component 
in a very short time, maybe less than one hour. After that, you can fine tune the 3D model. So, in this two way, we can create the 3D model, which is the first step of additive manufacturing. Second step of additive manufacturing is you have to convert this CAD data into an STL file. STL is a another language where visually if you see then you will find this 3D model to a here you can see the picture of a cup triangular mesh network that is the visualization of the STL model. Okay. Then this STL model converted into AM language or additive manufacturing machine language uh, which is also called manipulation because a lot of things needs to be said or if some error there in the 3D model that that language can take care of that. This is basically called another uh, software called Chura by which you know you can decide the slicing of the uh, 3D model uh, by which you can actually create the 3D model. Okay. And st step 4 is the machine setup call. it is called machine setup like what should be the speed of the machine or feed rate of the material, temperature of the melting material, any other support needed for the overhang parts etc. This is called a step 4 for the uh, setup of the 3D printing machine. Okay. And step 5 is the uh, 3D printer machine is when selling is done then building. So, layer by layer machine will create machine has got a uh, head and machine is construction basically x y z movement is there and head has got the three dimensional uh, three uh, 60 degree rotational motion which is called universal machine in the machine tools concept. So, this is basically conceptually a 3D uh, printing or additive manufacturing machine then layer by layer it will create the component whether it is metal or whether it is plastic or non metal it will create the same way actually. And number six step is the removal of the component. When the component is done or created on the table of the machine, then it needs to be removed. Though 3D printing is an advanced manufacturing technology, but till date, this removal of the component is done manually and which also needs, you know, a lot of uh, skill actually. Otherwise, you know, your correct component may got damaged during removal from the machine bed. And after removing the step is cleaning, cleaning of the component. Cleaning means, you know, there are some additional supports or etc. gasset etc. given to the component. So, that during this pre uh, process of manufacturing, the component does not get overhanged or sagged or bent. So, those are the additional support uh, needed. So, which are later removed from the component, which are not a part of the component geometry actually. And uh, step 7 is the post processing. So, after removal of the component, component needs some post processing kind of things like support removal, sanding and uh, cold welding. Sometimes bigger component are made into few small parts. So, after that you have to join it in the cold welding process. Some cases gap filling uh, is there, some cases uh, polishing is there. Some cases you need to do primer and finish painting, some cases uh, vapor uh, smoothening it is called, then epoxy coating some cases or metal painting, mostly with the uh, non-metallic material metal coating is given. If we talk about the application area, as I already said at the beginning, so engineer you here you can see the component type actually by which 3D model, uh, 3D printing or the additive manufacturing can do like engineering component, maybe design and R&D, different kinds of prototype machine or uh, component, consumer products, manufacturing sectors uh, products in general, then education, especially for the medical, uh, this human skeleton, human organ, etc. Very precisely it can be made with the 3D printing, aerospace industry, especially for the maintenance of the uh, this turbine uh, etc is uh, very economic with uh, this uh, metal 3D printing process and also in medical uh, sector like uh, creating human organ which say somebody has some deformed organ so he or she needs to change that or modify that. So, by 3D printing that can be easily made very precisely and accurately and customized way in fashion industry, in jewelry industry, in military industry, in automotive industry 3D printing is massively using nowadays. 
if we talk about the segments which are the segments and what is the percentage of 3d printing component are consuming uh, one is the automotive component that is 16 percent 3d printing uh, total uh, market segments aerospace industry about 19 percent and the you know um, industrial in general 20 percent consumer product 11.7 percent medical and dental 11.3 percent and there are many other uh, sectors so 3d printing is basically a growing and new area of manufacturing sector which is growing at a very fast rate and uh, CAGR if we talk about the CAGR of the 3d printed uh, 3D printing or early manufacturing industry is more than 22 percent so from that you can understand how this you know this industry is uh, going at a, a very faster rate and in coming days maybe after uh, 10 years or 20 years we will find in general industry the 3D printed component are getting more competitive and you know more accepted hope uh, you have got a basic understanding of 3D printing process thank you so much for your attention